Hey guys, welcome to another amazing episode testing motors on kayaks with Alice. We have an outboard on this Ryo kayaks Versa. This boat is Versa because you can pretty much use a bunch of different type of propulsion to propel this boat. Now we're gonna take it out here in Homestead Marina Park. I forget the name of the marina, and we're gonna see how fast we can push this baby to. Let's go. Sun is almost gone. Beautiful day, high tide. Sun is going down. I think I wasted too much energy coming here, though. So, so let's go ahead and start getting ready. But this is too slippery. I don't want to go in there. Exactly. You know, like that. Ugh. I suddenly do not want to tell how slippery it is. It's very slippery, see? Ooh. Let's see what I'm doing, man. Whew. Tell you it was slippery. I go like, doesn't matter if, if for the reason I pull, like I get pulled in. It doesn't matter because I just said it didn't matter because it just pulled me in. Alright, let's do this. Ooh. It's gonna be some crazy stuff man we made it on the water though without incident we're on the water guys i don't know how good this demo is gonna be i should have brought my troller extender but i didn't Luckily, the water is like when I was pushing back like this, you see, there was water coming in, but the water is out. But those giant scoper holes, that might be a problem back there. Maybe I should plug it. But the problem we have here is once we go up like this, it's maybe a problem. Let's see if we really get on a plane and let's see if that will be a problem on the back. I don't know. Let's go. We're gonna have to get a little bit of wake, see how it does. We're doing this again full battery now we need to clear this channel and then go like a thousand feet out so we could hit uh faster than no weight speed even though i don't think i'm gonna hit more than six miles an hour on this i could be wrong about that though stay tuned for that but i think uh, no weight speed is no weight like you gotta make no weight guys we're about to clear the sign a thousand feet and it's fair game you can max it out the good news is that we've been running this thing for at least five minutes already, so it should be hot. So I should just be able to heat it up as fast as I can on a straight line. Because I don't want to flip on this thing. Not today. I want to get this video done for you guys. That's the motor right there, it's the Suzuki. We got no water inside. That'll be nice. All right, guys, we, we are at the line. We are at the line. I sort of want to like hit it up, see what's up. You saw there, there is no like wake, in, like the water, it, it, the boat is like this. So no water on the back. Now we want to put it shit up and see what's up. I don't know how fast I'm going, but this is sure really nice, man. Let, let's see, let's see if I take this camera up here and I do some sort of like, I don't know if this is a good idea, but. Look at 
thing is like up there. Like seriously. Woohoo! Oh my god. I can't believe this thing works so well. Wow, so much water. Look at the water coming through. Look at the water coming through the uh the middle hole right here. I gotta fix this. Okay, so there's a lot of water coming in. I don't want this thing to get wet. Let me remove this plug, the scoper plugs right here. And this one right here. So now, now we should be fine. But I need to see. The first test was a success. Now I want to do some turns, but I want to put myself in a position where, where I'm safe, I would say. <laughs> so let's put this back here. I'm not going to do like a full donut because I may just lose my center of gravity and fall and I don't want that. Bro, back here, this thing is like no water whatsoever back there. But the amount of water coming through here is incredible. But we're at maximum speed, like look at the weight, dude, look at the weight. I think the scoper are doing an amazing job because like I'm not sinking yet. But this is totally a crazy idea, man. Let me, let me slow down, okay? Look, I'm gonna do the donuts at really low speeds. So you can see that I could like basically do donuts. One of the things that I did was to, let me just talk to you. Oh, actually, uh, you're looking at the sun, so let me. So one of the things that I did is on the back, there's a screw on the motor that you basically put in how much pressure you want so the motor's not like moving all over the place. So I tie it down a lot. So in case I let go of the motor or whatever, something happened, it doesn't like turn all the way to the right or left and flip me over. Like you probably, it seemed happened to me before. So this is some cool stuff, it worked. Now what I wanna do is, and I'm gonna get hot over there and then turn, cause I wanna see how fast we're going. All right guys, we're about to do this. So one of these cameras shut off, cause I said the magic word, and then ran out of battery too. So now we're gonna head back to land. We already got how fast we were going against the, the current and everything else. We're gonna see how fast we go with the current and then we're gonna call it a day because it's gonna be dark in like 10 minutes. So make sure that I have everything backed up. I don't want no issue, just one turn. All right, good, good, good. Man, the sun is in my face, dude. We're gonna go full throttle, man. We're gonna see what's up. Guess how fast we're going, man. This is a tiny boat. A lot of water is coming in. Like, there's a lot of things stopping this boat from planing, from going fast. So, put in down in the comments how fast you think we're going. Yep, six miles an hour. When we started this video, I said we were gonna go six miles an hour and out. Uh, that's where we are going, six miles an hour. And it's funny because this motor goes six miles an hour as well with the, uh, what's the boat again? This canoe. Now let's do a show. I think I want to see like what are the idle speeds and I want to see like uh, the middle middle ground speed, uh, like what, what kind of speed do we get? Right, so I want to see what the idle speeds that we get, like like the, the right now, two to three miles an hour idle, and I want to see what the middle ground is. Just give it a little bit of juice. All right, so that's like probably half, five miles an hour, and then if we just go all the way up, it, it, it just hits six. Like it doesn't go higher than that. And why would you go full throttle if you're only getting a mile extra? Like you're getting the extra sound and all that stuff and it's not that much faster. Hmm. Oh 
look, my cart is still there. Good job, me. All right, so guys, uh, will that kill switch work? Yep, it did. Now, we have to make sure. Oh God, I have to go and flush this. Now, just turning everything off. Turn the engine off, the on switch off. Lifted the motor. And so what have we learned from our little experiment today? Well, we could go six miles an hour. Just half a speed is like five miles an hour. So this thing has a maximum whole speed, maximum of six miles an hour, I would say. That, that's like the top speed. I mean, the true whole speed by the calculation may be five miles an hour, but then the, the motor, the sheer power, the motor is putting an extra mile more because it doesn't take much for this motor to push it to five miles an hour. But then you go 100% and you only gain one mile an hour when in truth if you go 100 percent you should get like double the output right so if you go 85 miles an hour you should go 10. it doesn't go 10 because the whole speed maximum is five well, i hope that makes sense now will i get this boat and put um buy like would i buy this boat and then buy the motor to use it together no <laughs> no i don't think so now if you already have it why not so but this 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 boat handle is nice the only problem and this is a major problem is that a lot of water comes through here it drains quickly so that shouldn't be an issue but what if there's a lot of bad weather heavy waves and it doesn't allow the the boat to drain fast enough that could be a problem and no i'm not going to test that because i don't want to go for a swim so um it's fun to do these videos like this but i'm not gonna risk myself or the motor this is the second motor i purchased i don't want to lose another whatever eight hundred dollars whatever it cost me out of my own pockets like like it's funny when you guys say oh oh you get free kayaks give me a free kayak like dude i had to buy motors i had to buy hobby drive i had to buy cameras i had to pay for myself to come here and do this stuff because i could be doing something else i enjoy this but like i don't like like when you do something for fun you do it like i don't know on, on the weekend and you really do it for fun you don't go with a oh i gotta test this when you're doing something because because you enjoy it of course but then you want to also uh, make enough money from it that you could do it maybe one one day do it full time then then it's business all right so what i'm trying to do here is try not to fall down because i don't want to fall down i don't want to I don't know how we're gonna do this, how we're gonna do this, but we're gonna do this. That's too slippery. Too slippery. Okay. What the I didn't want to have an habit. I got one. <laughs> Let's fix this. 